Okay, so the first quarter of this video's audio was not recorded because my microphone went funny and I realized right before I did the sound test for this uh, Bluetooth audio speaker. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna press play on the video and uh, here we are. And right before I put my hand on the screen, there is a giveaway in this video, so stay tuned for that. And if you wanna skip further ahead, then go for it, but you're gonna miss out. So here is my hand and uh, hey there, how's it going? Are you good? Brilliant. There we go, we've got that out of the way with. I'm not really too sure what I'm saying in this. Um, I am saying that I, I'm drinking some of this stuff. It's not coffee, it's not tea. It is uh, some sort of cappuccino or something. Anyway, um, this right now is me after the effects of the cappuccino has kicked in. Kind of a little hyper. I've got something that can calm me down, but I think I'm just gonna stay in this state of mind for now. And uh, let's just uh, re-record the vocals for this video because we need them. Okay, so as you can see, I'm pointing at a box. I'm probably just saying I've got this box here with some speakers inside of it or something inside of it. Um, even though it says in the title what is actually being done in the video, I don't know why I say I've got something in this box that I'm gonna show you. But anyway, I guess that's just part of the video. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open the box and uh, as usual, I say slice. And then we've got another two slices. So uh, slice and slice. And I'm pointing at those arrows because that is the way the box should be facing. Anyway, here we go inside the box and we are gonna open it up. And look at what we have here. It's uh, Element Mega. Uh, it's a Tronsmart Bluetooth speaker, 40 watts. So I'm just putting that to one side. And then there's something else in the box. Another Tronsmart Bluetooth speaker, 40 watts. And then as usual, this cardboard box can now go to Pancake. So there we have the drink I was drinking and it's finished. So I got a nice little boost from that. Okay, so right about here I'm saying, let's take a look at what it says on the box. But then I'm like, hang on a second, it's quite reflective here. So let me just take this off. And around here, I think I'm saying something along the lines of, it looks as though this has got some sort of a touch panel on it. And uh, then I realized I was correct. And then I read a little bit more and it says 28 core high fidelity large subwoofer horn. 28 core, what's that about? It sounds like a thread ripper. Okay, so here I am opening the box and there we have the Bluetooth speaker wrapped up in some sort of soft plastic type wrapping. Inside here we have accessories and then we have a warranty card, which is nice. Won't be needing that. And then we have a manual, which uh, I will refer to later on if I need to. Uh, but yeah, that's about it for the box. So if you want to win this, what you've got to do is you've got to like the video, leave something in the comments section, but at the end of your comments, what you want to do is write 40W, just like that and only the comments with 40W on the end of them will be selected for the giveaway. So make sure you do that. And if you've skipped this part of the video, then you're gonna miss out. So uh, on with the video we go. Okay, so inside the accessories box, what do we have? These two right here, which come with just about every other Bluetooth speaker on the market. So uh, that's nice. And uh, seeing as I've got a lot of Bluetooth speakers, I now have a lot of these. Okay, so let's take this Bluetooth speaker out and this is what it looks like. Not bad, to be honest. And on the bottom of this, we have some protective coverings on these feet. Uh, they're rubber feet. And uh, for some reason, there's protective covering on this middle label. So I'm taking that off. It's very grippy, as you can see. I'm putting quite a bit of pressure on this and um, it's not really moving that much. So that's good. It's not gonna vibrate off of any desks and fall onto concrete if you just so happen to have concrete floors. I know at least one person that's happened to. So this is what is on the back of it. We have a memory card slot, USB for charging. Uh, we have an auxiliary in and this, I'm not too sure what that is, on, off. Hmm, maybe I'll have to switch it over to on and see what that does. Oh, look, it's lit up, nice. So what I'll do now is I'll close these blinds a little bit, make it a little darker in here and you can see what this looks like. And there we go, that is what it looks like. Not bad, to be honest. It's just a bit of a shame it's facing upwards. Then again, if you're on a desk, you'll probably be able to see it. And if you're on a desk, why are you on a desk? You should be on a chair. Okay, so we finally passed the stage of dodgy audio. And this audio right now is actually what is being recorded. The way it should have been. As you can see, back to normal. So uh, what I'm gonna do with this now is I'm gonna play some music. Um, I'll probably see how loud it gets. And then what I'll do is I'll open the other one, pair them, give them a stereo test, 
and then I'll stress test them with some bass. Okay, so first what I'll do is I'll turn this on and we'll see what sound it makes when it turns on because the last time I did this, my microphone wasn't working. So on it goes and... All right, so the first sound was it turning on. The second sound was it not being connected to anything. So now I'll connect it to my phone and we'll see what sound it makes. And that was some sort of a guitar type sound, which is a little unusual. Also, we've got the volume, so I might just turn it up to max. Wow, that was loud. Turning it back down. My phone is on full volume, so it shouldn't really matter too much. Okay, so probably one of the only NCS tracks I'll play. Once again, I'm playing this track because then you can go through the older videos and sort of get an idea of what these sound like because I've played the same song with the other Bluetooth speakers, well, some of them. There will be another review coming up which compares all these Bluetooth speakers that I have. For now, just this one track. I might play one of mine as well and um, we'll, see how, we'll see how this sounds. So here we go. I don't know why I was doing that. Okay, so now I'm going to open the second speaker, I'm going to pair them both together and then we're going to test out the stereo feature that these have. And I've only come across this stereo feature in one other Bluetooth speaker and uh, I thought it wasn't as common as it is. So that was a bit of a surprise to me. Anyway, um, time to get on with it. Okay, and this is all going to be the same on the inside because it would be weird if it wasn't. Accessories and the other stuff, uh, we don't need these. And then out comes the speaker or off comes the wrapping. Whichever way you want to look at it. Okay, so uh, now what I'll do is I'll pair these two speakers together. So the way you do that is you turn them both on. On that one goes. And this one. Now what you do is read the manual. Okay, so what you do is you press mode on one of them. Okay, so now they're both paired, we'll test out the stereo sound. Right channel, right channel, right channel, left channel, left channel, left channel, right channel, right channel, right channel, left channel, left channel, left channel, right channel, right channel, right channel, left channel, left channel, left channel, right channel, right channel, right channel, left channel, left channel, left channel. Okay, so on top of this speaker is going to go this, like that, and then under this speaker, is gonna go that. Okay, so I found this short little 3D stereo demo. So I'm gonna play this and uh, record the speakers. And once again, when I record, I'm gonna be pointing the camera there. And that is about the center of where I see when I'm sat. So you're gonna be getting stereo sound. So what I'll do is I'll play this short demo, probably skip a few parts of it, and then we'll get onto the bass frequency test in which I test out these speakers at full volume using random bass frequencies. Okay, so the sound you will now hear will only be coming through these Tronsmart speakers. So uh, let's press play and see how they do.
Okay, so that was different. Now what I'll do is I'll see how much these can handle in terms of bass frequencies. So I'll just turn this on and I'll turn their volume to max. And then we'll slowly start climbing up in frequency. So we'll start off at one hertz, two, three. And from now on, I'll just stop counting up in frequencies because you can see. Yeah, that is the speakers. If you want one, check them out. There's a link in the description. And if you want to win one, like I said, you know what to do. Um, I will be back with another video pretty soon. So until then, take it easy. Try not to stress and um, stay high. I said say hi, not stay high. Stay high.